as someone who watched every painstaking minute of She-Hulk and reviewed the entire series, I don't normally cover rumors, but in this case, looks like where it's green, that means it's mean. Tatiana Maslany, the mean green law suing machine, is dropping. She's spilling the tea, it looks like. And I don't normally cover this kind of stuff. It's, uh, you know, I don't like rumors per se. I only like things that are confirmed. But when I'm seeing it in so many industry rags, I think we have a real problem. I am the man you may know as Z, and it really helps us if you give us a like. Subscribe, if you will, if you enjoy this type of content. We'd like to keep you updated on all sorts of things. We're going to take a look at the latest from She-Hulk. For those of you who wanted a season two so you could torture yourself and potentially stab your eyes out with more green twerking, here we go. Looks like She-Hulk star says no season two. It blew its budget. Now, if I recall correctly, I think she was already kind of hinting at this, that they were going to move on from She-Hulk. It was really just going to be one season. And if you want to check out some of my other reviews of it, there's there's at least one or two of them up here. But what we have is her going and uh, reinforcing this. This is from Forbes magazine from Paul Tassi, a senior contributor. Shocking. Well, uh, they're saying that they're cutting down the Disney Plus budget. From what we understand is the budget was at least $225 million for She-Hulk, almost $30 million an episode. And uh, this was an interview on a Twitch stream, which was kind of weird, but sure. And uh, like I said, I feel like they said that it was going to be a standalone season, that they would move on from it, and that she would show up in the next Avengers. But in this Codenames Live, the new class stream... She goes, I don't think so. Like, are we going to have a season two? I don't think so. I think we blew our budget, and Disney was like, no thanks. They're saying uh, She-Hulk was the target of relentless bile from self-proclaimed Marvel fanboys who decried the forthright feminist messaging and woke comedy. Yeah, it was garbage because they made it garbage, and they literally made quote-unquote fanboys be the enemy of She-Hulk. When they're the ones they were trying to get watch the show, it, bizarre. Nine episodes that cost two hundred million. I'm pretty sure it's two twenty five. And look, even though they insult everybody in the first parts of this article, they go on. It wasn't good CGI. Oh, really? So you can complain about the and and <laughs> the so called bad VFX was because of half-baked scripts an insider said back in november that's not victoria the one, victoria alonzo who they fired that is kevin and even above kevin they're talking about kevin feige these issues sh should have been addressed in pre-production the timeline not allowing the marvel executives to sit with the material so oh then they were bad scripts and the cgi was bad even though you just told us that we were evil fanboys for criticizing it Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Ironheart needs to be canceled right now. What I didn't know is, look, Echo, which they dumped all five episodes at one time, which makes me think that they were trying to get rid of it because it was crap. I also reviewed that. Uh, maybe I'll link that up here too. You you could check it out in my Marvel rants. <coughs> well, Echo cost forty million dollars for five episodes. Technically, it wasn't five episodes. Technically, they filmed more than that and had to cut it down. Uh, my understanding is it was eight episodes dropped to six and then eventually cut into five. And if you watch my review, I make the case that it's really only four episodes because half of at least one episode and a couple of parts of other ones are actually previously on Hawkeye. So, because some people who watched it didn't even under, they didn't watch Hawkeye, so they missed all the parts that were Hawkeye just replays. So, yeah, it was kind of weird. And that's what they're saying, is that she could show up in an ensemble movie, and that way they could cheap out on it. They wouldn't have to have her be She-Hulk that many times. So that's Forbes reporting this. 
And guess what? We also have Gizmo Gizmodo. So all the main industry rags here, they're all saying it. And I did like Tatiana Maslany in Orphan Black. I thought she was pretty good there from many moons ago. But um, it's like, again, they're reporting that it doesn't look good for the show. It was a Twitch game show. Why would you be on a Twitch game show? Like, so strange. Um, well, you know what? She's looking for her next job, and she doesn't know where she's going to get it because that's what actors do. They move on from from one job to the next and hope that they get hired again. Yeah, they're saying that uh, Variety reported that episodes cost around $25 million to make, at least, on She-Hulk. And uh, that's more than Game of Thrones and The Mandalorian. So, holy macaroni. Wh why? Wh why did you have to... Like, uh, well, from what I understand is because they didn't have the scripts finalized and they kept tweaking the scripts... They would have a scene where they needed her to be She-Hulk. They'd pay the CGI artist to get the work done, and then they'd be like, "Well, we want to change this. We don't like. We need to reshoot re it." So then they'd have to re-render She-Hulk, and then they just didn't have enough time, and they, you know, you keep going back and back and back, and it doesn't make any sense. The best example of this is look at Lord of the Rings to the Hobbit. You have Peter Jackson you know, spending two or three years pre-planning out every single thing he's going to do with Lord of the Rings, and you get, you know, Oscar-worthy classic films that will stand the test of time versus The Hobbit, which never needed to be made a trilogy, and, you know, nobody pre-planned and sucked. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, so, interesting developments here. Again, I wouldn't normally report on speculation that season two is canceled, and the actress may not even necessarily know but somebody slipped this to her so that she could say it again. And again, this is not the first time I'm hearing She-Hulk Season 2 was unlikely and that they would just move on from her. That it was supposed to be a limited series. So who knows what the truth is. But it looks like for now, we're not getting Season 2. So we will not be able to gouge our eyes out with spoons. So in the meantime, check out our full-length audio podcast. It is on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher. You can subscribe. It's free. You could also check out a live stream of that same podcast right here on YouTube. And uh, you'll have a good time if you come join us. It's Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come join us for all the fun. Like, subscribe. But as for myself, I am on to the next one.